the very last topic for today is cooking compulsory for women general overseer of the salvation ministry bishop david ibiomi has addressed nigerian men on social media who complain about their wives not cooking for them according to the man of god uh, he himself hired a chef and stopped his wife from cooking he went on to advise men who cannot hire a shelf for their wives that poverty is their problem and not the wife okay now in his words i quote when you hear a man say that my wife does not know how to cook he's yet to understand love let me be very raw with you hire somebody to teach her and it is not even compulsory that she cooks for you can't you get a chef it is your poverty that is disturbing you he went on to say i told my wife to stop cooking i told her that god has blessed me to a point that you will never enter the kitchen where did you hear that a woman must cook till she dies just be angry with your poverty you employ a chef if you can't afford that yet walk around teaching her and stop spreading her weakness all around no one is perfect the scripture calls the women the weaker vessels it means men are the weak ones they can't be weaker if there is no weak end of quote all right so gentlemen <laughs> is it obligatory that your wife has to cook for you or is it just the poverty thing that is disturbing the red like bishop will be on me to be candid, to be candid I, I cannot help it align my thoughts with the bishop really okay yes you know i i used to attend a church mm -hmm. where the man of god used to tell us in church mm -hmm. that he keep telling the wife stop going to disturb this guy these guys in the kitchen there is a chair there's a butler there are all these people all these guys that will take care of this to so come to the parlor and stay with me let's sit down and there are other things you do for me other than cooking other than cooking <laughs> others can handle those things if you have money you can afford to get i mean they really take uh, so far ahead the proud you know that kind of thing yeah. so let if you have what it takes you have the means the way with the let other people handle those things but when a man is insisting my wife cannot cook for that i, I want to divorce it's actually poverty that is disturbing the person so wow. the person ought to think about how to make sure <laughs> not that the wife shouldn't know how to cook but to say he was cooking no i don't know I, I subscribe to that i don't know dr precious well um personally i once dated outside the country and I taught her how to cook. Most of the times I did the cooking. And um, I can say right now that it's not compulsory for the woman to cook, but it is necessary that the woman be domesticated. Let me give you a very practical instance. Go ahead. God gave the woman the responsibility of breastfeeding the children. Mm -hmm. Not because the woman is a weaker vessel but because she bore the child so he made the woman to lactate to be able to breastfeed mm -hmm. now if god will be who is the all seeing the most intelligent um um being, being mm -hmm. gi to give the woman the breast and say okay you have the responsibility to feed your children mm -hmm. how much more your husband so what i'm saying in a nutshell is i'm not saying women should be confined to the kitchen but I'm saying you should have experience about the kitchen. So don't say because the bishop says women shouldn't be conf women shouldn't cook or women shouldn't be confined, you misinterpret it. We live in a generation where people amplify. A mm. little bit, they take mm. it to the extreme. Mm. It's good, anybody can cook. Sometimes I, I just wanna cook. I just wanna cook, but it's important we understand. Women should necessarily, that's why I said of necessity, not of compulsion mm. very important okay so but a man expecting the wife to cook for him is that a poverty mentality do you do you buy that Dr. Uh, well, I, I may not call it totally a poverty mentality I'll mm -hmm. call it a traditionalistic mentality or a traditional mindset okay we live in a we, we live in an African society where we saw our mothers and fathers going to farm together and then when they come back the man breaks the fire with the woman cooks the food mm. you know there, there are assignments that are designated to certain people. 
you don't expect the woman to start breaking the wood the men will do that you expect the women to go fetch water you expect the women to cook so when you have that kind of foundation then it's transmitted and then from one generation to the other and from another so that's why i said we live in a traditional world where that has formed the basis but nevertheless there is no place even if you go to the court of law there is no judge that will say it's compulsory for a woman to be um, sent to the kitchen they will just say okay well any anybody can, can, can do that you know okay you know you know, you know i love to cook sometimes <clears throat> but just like you uh dr pressure was saying it is important that the woman should know how to cook but not as if she must be in the necessity, yeah. that she must of necessity be in the kitchen. She could supervise, know what ought to be. To be candid, I, 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 I enjoy the meals prepared by my wife than the one I cook. <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So I will cook, but when she comes. So you just told she, us something about your cooking. <laughs> no, my cooking is good. <laughs> very good. Very, very, very good. Mm -hmm. Don't, don't worry. <laughs> Yes, I'm, yes coming, I'm coming home, sir. Yeah, you know, there's a way, there's, a, there's something the woman brings, you know, to the, to the kitchen. Yes. And when she brings it out, I mean, it tastes better than what the man has been doing. Mm. That's a way, that's a, there's a feminine touch. But even in rich homes, in royal, in, in palaces and all those kind of traditional settings, the, the, the wife of the king doesn't go to the kitchen to cook. Is it not from those people that will get the, the traditional flavor? The mates. Mm. Uh -huh. so, so we shouldn't, there is a certain degree of poverty mixed with traditionalism. Mm. Okay. <laughs> All right. So because our time is far spent, my guest at the table this afternoon said it's not compulsory for women to cook, but it is necessary. That is the word. It's necessary for you to know how to cook yes. as a woman, but it doesn't mean you have to die in the kitchen. Sure. Especially when God has blessed you so much, you know, you can have helps, you can have a chef, you know, if <laughs> you want to go all out like the, the man of God from life. He's also a philosopher and a motivational speaker. Thank you, sir, for joining us on the show Thank today. Also on the program today, we've had Dr. Precious Wagbai, who is a youth peace ambassador. Yes, of so, the United Nations. Of the United <laughs> Very important <laughs> person, yes. you know, Thank with you. us on the program this afternoon. Thank you so much, sir. Thanks for Thank having me. Thank you for your time. And thank you, viewers, for uh, the many contributions to the show today. I thoroughly enjoyed myself, but the essence of the show is not only to be entertained, also we hope that uh, you apply some of the things that we talk about, you know, to your family life so we can have a better society. Thank you for always tuning in. Tomorrow Friday, join us as we'll be bringing you the very best of entertainment from all over social media. Enjoy the rest of your day. Consider subscribing to my channel. It's free and it's fun. You can join the squad and you won't miss out on any of my future uploads.